All right, here we are. I uh, just started the bus and it started up just great. About to drive over to the place where I'm gonna donate the wheelchair lift. So here we go. Miraculously, I think I figured it out. All these cords have numbers on all of them. I'm gonna try to find a good example of one that is easy to see and I can show the camera. Each of these cords is numbered along its entire length. So on this one, it says 25 right here. I don't know if that can be seen or not. 25, 25, about every inch and a half, maybe inch. It has 25 over and over. This one says 58. I don't know if you can see that. But anyways, they're all numbered. So the ones that I could tell were connected, like these two, number 50. I've tied them together for now, and I'll actually wire nut them in a little bit. Now I just need to figure out if these eight match these eight that I actually cut. They're all the right colors, so presumably they are probably close to the right thing. Now I just need to find out the numbers on these ones, but they're a little bit harder to see because the wire actually goes behind this metal panel, which I didn't want to take off, but I might have to. so far so that's the first good sign now I'm gonna undo this very sophisticated locking mechanism no blinkers all right now I'm gonna check to see if the brake lights work all right unfortunately brake lights did not work so 
now we're gonna test to see if everything has power. Probably too much insulation for that one. Walking past all my junk here. Don't mind me. Okay, let's see if these have it. Probably not. So, something else is the problem. Basically, as I understand it, power starts in over there where the battery is, outside the bus, comes in, comes along here, connects into here. So that's the plug that I'm missing right now. I'm gonna try to find that underneath all this. It plugs into here, then it goes around here. These are the parts that I repaired, these blue parts, and then those ones up there. That goes down to the tail lights, at least on that side. Then it snakes along here with this big cord. That goes all the way back up to the front and makes a big U shape. So now I'm gonna look for the part that connects to this. Good luck. Now we've got turn signals. I'm gonna test out the red lights. All right, I got it. So, relieving. All right, now I'm just going to close it up for the night, wash off my filthy hands, check the oil, uh, not in that order, and then I uh, got to dinner. So, see you tomorrow when I drive. All right, now's the time. Finally heading out of Tucson with my bus. It's been a hell of a ordeal. So, signing off. See ya at the next stop. Good evening. One of the other many things I've been working on is water collection. I'm still out here in the desert, but this new house is in an area that gets about twice as much rain as where I was used to. So now I've been getting rain. It's totally full. And over there, lots of rain. And we're actually gonna be diverting it into a riparian area, swamp kind of an area. <laughs>